all right friends welcome back let's go to the second practice program that i want to help you uh, accomplish javascript uh, let's try to change the date format using the same same example that we did in the last uh, video beginning javascript all you did was you clicked on a button and you were able to change the font size of the as well as the entire sentence okay using the id tag let me show this to you again using the date date exam okay just type what i'm typing on the screen doc type html open up the html tag open up the body tag okay now type h1 and x javascript okay we just practicing remember practicing makes perfect if i practice practice the basics with you more what happens is that you get better when we try to accomplish the tougher concepts. Button type is equal to button on click is equal to document dot get element by id demo single inward commas. Are you there? Are you with me? Make sense? Okay, just a good look at the code. Make sure you're typing exactly what I'm typing here. Okay, document dot get element ID. And where is the ID here? Button type is equal to button. All right, let's define. Okay, just hang in the dot inner HTML. Okay, that is also a file name. It's in the library. We will discuss libraries later. What do libraries do? These are pre-made programs. You do not have to reinvent the wheel because of these pre-made programs. Click me to display date and time. Okay. Button. Close the button tag. Okay. And now you're going to insert the paragraph tag. You could have done this at the top as well. It doesn't matter. ID is equal to just like we did the last time. Demo. Okay. And then open up the closing tab and then type close the body tag remember all the tags that you open in html you need to close them html is a very straightforward easy language html label okay and save this file as date file save as date okay all right please take a good look at the code okay and save it as html file as well dot html okay and then go back to the folder and double click okay all right just hold on a second okay now it works nice my first javascript but for you need to say my next javascript that's what i said here okay and click on this day friday july 15 2016 which is now and the time is 9 31 a.m arabian standard time that looks perfect why because you added code that said that document dot get element by id demo okay get this element and dot inner html is equal to date date is a program is a file which will return you a date uh, value okay Click me to display date and time. That is the text seen by the uh, audience or the user. Same here. Okay, let's try another example. All right, let's work on another example. In this example, I am going to show you how you can change the attribute. Okay, change the attribute of an element. Okay, and in this case, we have image element okay we will change the image with the aid of source okay so for this for this program i need you to save two images okay this one is the picture of bulb off and this one is a picture of bulb on you can use any image okay you can use any image you can use any but you just have to use two different images and if you access them in your file okay i have it saved as change attribute and i'm going to write down the code code in front of you please copy the way i'm doing doc type html html open the tag open the body tag here h1 what else can 
javascript tool okay this is the main heading here close the h1 tag all set open up the paragraph tag javascript can change the html attributes okay attributes means quality or virtue or behavior you can change the behavior the way the page is displayed that's what it means paragraph in this case javascript changes the source s o u r c e attribute of an image okay why do i say src because that's how source is written in the html language okay if you remember all right let's do the actual line of code here oh, oh okay image id is equal to my image okay I'm calling it my image in the last uh two videos the name of the id that was being accessed and the value of that id was thrown into the javascript files or javascript libraries residing in the server in the libraries was called demo now we're going to call it my image slow and steady please slow and steady take it easy this is not as difficult as it sounds pick bulb of dot gif this is just like you have a storage in your own home and you need to access something from that storage okay you for example if you have a big library in your home you have a room full of books so instead of buying a new book from the store you can access you know spending money and going through the effort and buying the a new book from the store if you have the book you want to read it you're just going to get it from the library from your own library in your home so this is exactly what we're doing here instead of creating code all over again you know spending all that time time is money okay if you want to go to, with the analogy and spending all the time creating code and everything you just go to the library and access the code in order to access the code you need to uh, tell the code what to do okay and in the programming language what does it mean tell the code what to do give it a value give it a value to manipulate and give out the result uh, okay of the manipulation so image id is equal to my image source is equal to picture underscore bulb of dot giff this is something that we've stored here okay it's a gif image i just saved it from the internet for the example okay um i think i'm missing a line here before i go to this line just add another line here i'm sorry button i didn't add the button at all button on click okay button on click is equal to document dot get element by id okay i'm not going to worry too much about my syntax error i'm just going to straighten out the code to save time you know and then show you uh, uh the entire screen again and ask you to check whether your code is written exactly like that because when i'm teaching live there are chances that i miss a dot miss a hyphen or something like that and it's not worth wasting time again and again because we've already done that we've already done uh, the error editing and everything in html1 html2 i don't want to spend my time correcting syntax errors in this video in these videos i just want to make sure that you get the logic now you understand where in uh, html you're editing or you inserting javascript and uh, that's the main purpose of this course uh, html is not the main purpose if i have any problems with the i'm just going to stop the video and check it up if i have any problems i'm going to fix it then i'm going to come back turn the video on and tell you that please check the screen if you have written exactly like this okay because i'm going to be teaching you how to work on your javascript my image dot source is equal to 
remember you should be able to run this browser uh, run this uh, code on any browser that is the beauty of JavaScript it's platform independent you don't need a plugin you don't need anything to run this program okay are you with me turn on the light interesting calm close the button tab okay let's make sure button on click is equal to document dot get element by id okay my image dot source what is the source of my image this is the entire expression document document dot get element by id document is doc type this document dot get element by id is uh, the program that you want to access uh, from the j jquery jscript library and you give it the id my image which is this guy here dot source okay the source of this uh, program is the source file that is used by this program is the right now we want to use picture underscore bulb on dot gif turn on the light okay image id is equal to my image source is equal to this is the start start starting status the picture is always turned off picture bulb off dot gif the bulb is always turned off style is equal to width double colon 100 pixels no space between colon double colon and 100 no space between 100 and px just make sure of that okay and then write again button on click is equal to i made a mistake here double colon double uh, inverted commas document dot get element id element by id okay, here's another mistake i made d is for single inverted commas my image just like the previous line my image i kept it yeah that's the thing you know you have to be very careful with your syntax very unforgiving language and if we had a javascript editor we wouldn't be going through all of these uh, hassles but you know what we wouldn't be learning much either pic underscore bulb off don't tif okay and then you say turn off the light underscore button great close the body tag uh, yes and close the html tag now let me double check before i save the file okay just hang it there there you go i've cleaned the code a little bit added some extra lines please take a good look at it okay just make sure you've written exactly like this okay and i'm going to save the file save it as html make sure you do that okay these are the images that i've show stored here change attribute save and then i'm going to go back and double click on change attribute so here you go it's 100 pixels width okay we've already defined that what can java the height is default it's it's a rectangle it's like a rectangle if you define one dimension of a rectangle the other dimension is already defined that is the height based on the rectangle ratio okay so this is also something that helps in faster efficient programming we just define the width and we didn't define the height okay style is equal to width 100 pixels that's it okay based on that the height is calculated automatically what can javascript do javascript can change html attributes 
in this case javascript changes the source attribute of an image okay we're working on the element image and element uh, image has many attributes so we are going to change this element turn the light on turn off the light okay oh uh, this is not actually lighting up the light it's the changing of the image you use very similar images you could use a smiley face as well as, as well if you don't find the bulb seriously just go to google uh, images and look for a smiley face and sad face and then just uh, change the heading on this button i'm sad i'm happy like this you could write anything on the button okay i have an idea because this is a blood uh, this is the bulb you know so i just want to make sure that it, the title on the button goes with the image i have an idea and then here you could say no more ideas okay let's save it and refresh the browser i have an idea no more ideas okay just just like that you can change it just like that you just need to change the image here from smiley face to sad face to somebody who is sitting idle somebody who is dancing you know and then just try to try this code out all right let's stop this video here and practice some more in the upcoming videos take care bye bye